There are some people who always say, bad acne, nothing. We have nothing, we have lost everything, what is this? And so on, always with a flat face, not, not, not possible to smile. Smile is a very costly thing. Is smiling a costly thing, dear brothers and sisters? I don't think so. They say that to uh, look at another person with anger, you need 64 muscles in your face. But to smile, only 16. So it is cheaper and easier to smile. Christianity is a faith of those who smile. Even in the middle of problems, that is resurrection. Even in the middle of tears, to be able to smile is resurrection. That is what Jesus showed on the cross. He challenged negative attitudes in life. Pope Francis calls this negative attitude complacency. He states complacency is seductive. It tells us that there is no point in trying to change things. Some people say, no, don't try to change. Let, let these things go on. Those young boys who went to the parliament square and did that some months ago, they wanted change. They wanted to be architects of change in this country. Courageous. That is resurrection. It tells us that there is no point in trying to change things, that there is nothing we can do. Nothing, nothing I can do. Just forget about it. Because this is the way things have always been and yet we always manage to survive. Manage to survive. As long as I don't die, it's enough for me just to live like that, you know. No, no. That's not, that's not resurrection. By force of habit, we no longer stand up to evil. We let things be. We allow evil. We allow evil things to happen in society. We are not bothered. It is not up to us to change. No, we have to change. As Christians, we must be committed. You know, there is a famous poem by uh, a German poet called Niemöller. What was he saying there? That when Hitler's SS troops came to take his neighbor, he kept silent. When he came, they came to take the Jews, he kept silent. When they came to take his best friends, he kept silent. But when they came to take him, there was no one to speak. Because you did not speak at the right moment. <laughs>